Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD preview video. Last time on this channel for a preview, I previewed the Mix 10 Monster Mutt Poodle. This will be coming out in March or later than March, depends on your store's distribution schedules. But this is scheduled for March 1st and this was a truck I previewed, I think about a month ago now. And it did very well on my channel. So I decided that each time I have a mix, if I haven't received the full mix by the time I wanna do a full mix review, I will preview one or two trucks from it depending on if they're really you know popular or people want to see them up close before the mix review so poodle i felt was a very interesting truck i also did the boneyards trucks grave digger uh, it wasn't as popular monster Mutt poodle is a little more flashy i guess you would say and it's also a new concept so i understand why it was such a popular video but i felt as if since i haven't received all of mix 10 yet we're still working on that uh, I felt as if you guys probably wanted to see a ride truck by now. And the ride trucks are something that are so special. And I absolutely love every ride truck that they're making this year. So I felt that I would share just a ride truck with you for Mix 10 for preview. And just kind of use that to help uh, share Mix 10 until I get the full review for you guys before the show. So anyway, we have the Poodle, Monster Mutt Poodle. And then we had the Boneyard Trucks Grave Digger. And now today I'm going to share with you for the first time ever on camera, the brand new 2020 chase pieces. I should say specifically one chase piece, the Grave Digger ride truck. And this is based on Grave Digger 11, I believe, the ride truck, the original Grave Digger ride truck. And um, it's not to be mixed up with the Grave Digger 40 XL. Uh, that's a different ride truck Grave Digger. That's a front facing seats. Uh, different hood shape and all that stuff but this is grave digger 11 and this is the first chase piece of the year if we remember back in 2019 the first chase piece of last year was the training trucks el toro loco and el toro loco tended to be more common in most areas i'd say it was the most common one same goes for Earthshaker because they were put into the sidekick displays uh two per sidekick so they were guaranteed two per i think the grave digger ride truck will be easier to find than the training trucks grave digger was uh, in 2019. I would definitely consider Gravedigger the rarest one of the bunch, but this time around Gravedigger is first out for the chase pieces and I think it'll be more common. Uh, at least I hope it is because it's such an awesome model and honestly the training trucks were a great idea. They brought something new to the table. It's definitely something better than having a graphics based chase piece such as the blackouts and the golden machines and don't get me wrong those are really cool too but having new sculpts and new ideas for chase pieces is is even better this year for chase pieces they went ahead and made five new castings one gravedigger casting one megalodon earthshaker el toro loco ride trucks and then they also did um which you'll see soon in the future just a sneak peek the bkt and blue thunder both use the same casting so five new castings just for the chase piece line which are a little harder to find than normal trucks and i think they're just slightly smaller production than the normal trucks so for them to be doing that for that specific chase piece series is even crazier because they're expensive castings i'm sure and they also utilize a lot of different parts so i applaud them for doing that they've really gone above and beyond with this specific stuff and i'm just thrilled as you can tell from my tone of voice and my excitement behind just this single truck but the entire series as a whole is just going to be the best thing ever and the fact that they also can be compared to real life editions of the ride trucks is even better so mix 10 the ride truck chase piece grave digger you can see it has the leafer chassis another brilliant idea by jordan and the design team at spin master they utilize a universal leafer chassis so that the top portion can be swapped off if need be so they have two pieces here this bumper piece and this piece are two separate pieces and then they have these seats which are attached to this actual casting so it's completely different than other things where you would have a single casting and it can only be used for this specific purpose. This is a completely different style. You can use this um, pretty much with basically anything that really needs to be done. All you have to do is recast this top portion if they wanna change it out. 
but this is just so awesome. So here's the side panel. You can see it has the long graveyard display and you can tell the graphics are a little bit clearer. This is something they've been working on too uh, on the side panel. They're not crystal clear, but they're much clearer than we've had in the past. The Spin Master and Monstrum logos are much easier to see. And then we have the Grave Digger on the side here with the ghost and the haunted house. And they have started to work on correcting the color of the flames. You can see something that collectors have been mentioning, the minty green flame color has been slowly transitioning into the actual Grave Digger dark green flame color as well. So that's awesome. The clarity of the graphics on the hood are actually the best we've seen yet. So that's really awesome too. They have Lexan bolt detailing in the windshield. That's pretty cool as well. The roof has a custom concept decal. I really hope that they put this on the real truck. They have the flames and the Gravedigger logo to kind of keep away from the blank space on the top there. And uh, then we have the headlights, of course, the uh, bumper, which is part of the vintage chassis that was utilized by the Retro Gravedigger 5-pack. They continue to use the bumper. I have to say the bumper is a little bit low for this casting, specifically the ride trucks. All of them kind of have this low bumper. Um, I understand that they were saving on tooling costs and they already are doing a bunch of tooling work with the actual body. So, you know, it doesn't bother me, but it is a little bit low uh, for my preference. But um, I'm sure if you kind of customize this, I'm sure some collectors will be able to cut down the post and lower it down. But there's the bumper there. It's back again from the vintage series. And then um, here's this side panel. And then if we take a look inside the ride truck, let me kind of zoom in here or get closer. Um, if you look inside, those are the exact amount of seats that are inside of Gravedigger 11. There are six seats on each side, so 12 seats total. If I can focus, there you go. And they're detailed seats too. You can tell they look like the real life truck. And you can see through the top there, like the real truck, you can see through the roof where the roll bars are. And the window posts are also uh, there on the side panel. And then it does have the driver inside the front right there. And I mean, it's just, again, it's still incredible to think that these aren't, you know, collectible line uh, models. These are just standard toy line models for the general public. So for them to do this kind of stuff is really, I think, a privilege uh, on, on their part and on our part to have this team who's dedicated enough to do things like this. It's really something special. And I cannot wait to see what else they'll come up with in the future. I have no idea how they're going to top ride trucks as a chase piece. I honestly think this will end up being one of the best chase piece series of all time. There's always 2021 and I don't even want to look that far ahead yet, but I'm sure whatever they're cooking up over there at Spin Master is going to be absolutely out of this world if it's going to top the ride trucks. For now, however, the ride trucks are some of the best work we've ever seen for diecast, at least in my opinion. But I wanna hear your guys' opinion. They wanna hear your guys' opinion on the ride truck. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this tooling work with all the different seats, the different amounts of seats, all that stuff. Just comment below, tell me what you guys think. And we will be looking at more chase pieces very, very soon on this channel. You guys can expect some pretty cool stuff, um, but I can't show those fully yet. We'll be getting to those in the future. But I do have a lot of Spin Master reviews coming up. Finally, we have some product reviews and you guys will be seeing a lot more Spin Master content in the coming days and weeks. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan Ramos, Jim OCD, signing out.